Uh, this one comes from Declan from Toronto, and he wants us to ask you this. He says, my father was born and raised in Newfoundland. As you know, the province joined Canada in 1949. Since that time, we've seen jobs disappear and the fisheries and natural resources dry up. My dad always blamed much of Newfoundland's economic problems on a union with Canada. Do you think it was a mistake since our natural resources became the rights of the federal government? Well, I always like to say that Canada joined Newfoundland and Labrador, not the other <laughs> way around. Uh, but you know, it, it, it is a, a long-standing question. There are it, it's some a long-standing heart, issue, it, it's yeah. It's a heartfelt sentiment as to whether or not we would have done better uh, as a standalone uh, dominion, which we were before uh, Confederation, or whether or not Confederation with Canada was the right choice. I'm firmly in the camp that Confederation with Canada was the right choice, and I'll explain why. Many people often, uh, I don't know if it's fair to say they forget, but they, you know, they, you have to look at the full picture. From 1933 to 1948, Newfoundland and Labrador was technically bankrupt. Bankrupt not by our own hand, but by our contributions to the war effort, uh, our responsibilities to the Commonwealth, and another, uh, you know, and several, and, and quite frankly, some misadventures with some pretty high class charlatans who, who extracted a lot of money from the province without giving very much back. Uh, this was a product, uh, not so much of Newfoundland and Labradorians doing, but our affiliation with the Commonwealth that actually allowed a lot of this to occur. Um, when we joined Confederation, there was not one public hospital outside of St. John's anywhere to be found. There were tens of thousands of untreated cases of tuberculosis. And yet we had a bank account in 1948 in excess of $7 million sitting in a bank account. Why? Because a group of people, six unelected people, who were governors of, the, of our country at the time, just chose, we don't need to provide public services. And so if anyone really wants to understand why is it that Canada joined Confederation or, uh, with Newfoundland and Labrador, it's because we had a long-standing relationship and a positive one with Canada. Uh, and we also knew that the way we were being governed, if we were to continue, we would actually lead to just absolute civil chaos. And I hold that, firm, firm, uh, that view very firm. What about the issue when he talks about the natural resources? Do provinces have enough control over their natural resources? Well, in fairness, like you take, for example, you know, any terrestrial, oil and gas, mineral developments, forestry developments, they're still under the control of Newfoundland and Labrador. It's a provincial jurisdiction. Uh, people talk that we lost our jurisdiction when it comes to natural resources. The bulk of our resources in our province are actually owned, managed, and governed by the province not by the federal government. Voices Bay, you know, uh, our onshore oil and gas plays, our forestry sector, that's all 100% provincial. To a certain degree, I'm not trying to be critical here, but people kind of over romanticize what exactly we lost. We didn't lose a thing in that regard. In the offshore oil and gas industry, Karen, which is very, very big in our province right now, that is 100% owned and controlled by the federal government as per the Constitution. But in 1986, a very historic accord, 1985, a very historic accord was struck that the federal government actually granted joint management and control of a federal jurisdiction with the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. So listen, we can do more and the Atlantic Accord was critical uh, to sharing the benefits and wealth of those resources the Atlantic Accord, which created a, sh a sharing structure for, for, that, uh, for those projects. We can do better, but at the end of the day, nobody should actually presume or suggest that we lost uh, resources which we still have control of today, because that just wouldn't factually be true.